This is a gesture focus. <clears throat> Looking at some bedding areas. It's been several years since I've uh, been here at this time of year, but it looks like they're still using this spot. On occasion, because it's all beat down. That's not from people, that's from deer. Um, it's all the best drop tying buck here in full rut, just with his mouth hanging open, drooling, stumbling around through here. So I can't help it coming back to that spot. I'm not seeing that right now. There is a ton of people here already. It's late morning. And some of the trees are turned nicely, but not the majority. I haven't been back here before. Been on the other side of this. I didn't know they had a picnic table all the way back here. People can move these things themselves, and they did. <sighs> Sorry about that. I was walking and not looking. They look black. You're never gonna get to see a deer if the screen is black. <clears throat> There's some big bucks living in here, but probably not gonna see them in this spot today. Unless they just hunker down and think they can do okay without moving away and deeper. <clears throat> here's some here's some stuff for bouncing slab. These are really tiny little things. I don't normally see much of this. Like he sees it. Um Probably because I have a lot of wildlife I'm chasing. I'm stalking. <laughs> Today it's like the opposite of stalking. I'm just trying to move away <clears throat> from where people are. So that gives you the idea of the color here. It's not bad, but it's spotty still. The whole place will turn better in about another three days. And it doesn't get fresher than that. That is glistening. That is super fresh. And that is probably which way you went. I don't know. Let's go see. With the planes being here, you make your major moves while the plane's going overhead and just hope for the best.
It's dense, but it's not super dense. I've been in places that are just a little slow. So I'm picking my path slowly. Um, I don't hear anything moving. <clears throat> Certainly nothing moving fast around me. They put for a long time before they stand up and flush. Look at that, how pretty. Well, this section. Lots of leaves are quiet. No, I don't know. But it serves a purpose if there's anything laying down. If you stay very long, I'll see him. Sit stirred out. We picked up a few acorns. Some nice looking acorns here. And. A gorgeous older drop tine buck. Uh, that was four years ago, I think. That that guy was probably six or seven years old then, so I don't expect to see him run through here today. But maybe he's got some nice prodigy that would be here. Nobody's recording them, or I haven't been following channels that are showing the bucks at this location. So there's a parking lot right there, but I was in that parking lot and I saw him. I thought he was going to keep coming all the way to where I was standing. He was just standing there staring at me, drooling with his mouth open. And the doe he was chasing ended up right in front of me. She's a little, clever little girl. She don't want to be chased no more. She run to the humans and just stand there. So. He's like looking like, why? I can't go there. Okay. <sighs> I've on loungewear today. <laughs> I got stick tights. Uh, it's mainly cotton and lycra. Or spandex. Uh, spandex 12% or something. Not the right thing to be wearing walking through the woods. That's why I had to back out of the Talk to you later, I'm touching grass.